Well, today's indictments are just the latest controversy involving Cassida and Catherine. Our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley, has tangled with both men while trying to hold the lawmakers accountable. Jeremy. Maurice, you got to remember that not only was Cassida at one time one of the most powerful lawmakers in the state, but Catherine was his chief of staff, essentially the gatekeeper for the powerful, which means when we've tried to question Cassida and other lawmakers in the past, Cassida and Catherine were fast on their feet. See that figure running out of his back door? That's Glenn Cassida in 2019. Speaker, can you tell us about your decision to step down? Avoiding questions from WSMV4's Carly Gordon about lewd text messages exchanged between he and Catherine about women. But we do want to ask, do you intend to resign? At first, he also wasn't answering questions about that when I caught up with him, but we kept asking. There's a lot of lawmakers that are calling for your resignation. How do you respond to that? I've got one statement. Uh, I apologize for the two texts I sent. Uh, they were wrong, and I was wrong. But I've asked for forgiveness and received forgiveness. My chief of staff has resigned. Those problems are dealt with. But before Catherine resigned in the wake of those texts, he was the first line of defense to Republican lawmakers facing scrutiny, including February of 2019. WSMV4 Investigates found State Representative David Byrd in his office, and we wanted to speak with him about our investigation that exposed three women accusing Byrd of sexual misconduct when they were teenagers and he was their basketball coach. After I sat in the office waiting, Catherine arrived. We have answered every question that you've asked. But that wasn't true because neither Catherine nor Bird ever responded to our questions about Bird's apologies to one of those women. But he's right there. He's not available. But he's right there. He's not available. That's when Catherine, acting on order from Cassida, called in a state trooper to escort me out. I'm going to ask you just to step out of his office if you don't mind. But scandals continued to plague both men, including whether Cassida offered bribes to lawmakers for the governor's school voucher vote in 2019. Did you bribe anyone for the voucher vote? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And we had more questions for the embattled lawmaker that day. I also want to ask you if, if at all possible. But he got through security, and we didn't. Why did you install this? Of course, all that was political scandals, right? But what's happening now is criminal. It's very likely all we're going to hear from either men in the coming days will be through their lawyers. Tracy.